Um, I want to see like kind of like a sleepover vibe because obviously no one is or no one should be having sleepovers at the minute. Um, so it's something that we're kind of deprived from right now. Um, I wanted to kind of give myself that vibe, give everyone else that vibe, um, and just do like some skincare, have some chats, and just pretend that I'm talking to someone else. <laughs> and my first protocol is going to be to fix my hair. Um, I don't know if it's going to work out because I've been teaching myself how to do French or Dutch braids. Both, I think. I accidentally taught myself how to do Dutch braids. And now I'm trying to learn how to do French braids, and that is what I had in my hair. Um, but they kind of got loose. I don't know whether I'll be able to do them again. Um, so if you hear me like screaming in the next few clips, it's uh, because it didn't go well. <laughs> I actually tried to get my little sister to teach me this in the last few weeks. Uh, she just could not teach me for love nor money. I don't know what it was, but I just could not get the hang of it. I never could get the hang of this. Um, but I practiced a lot and I persevered. Ooh. It's not perfect, but it's better than this. Yeah, so to make sure that I'm not being lonely, obviously I've been trying to keep in touch with my friends. Um, but that's obviously not always easy, especially coming up to like May when everyone's finishing their college work and everyone has things to do. Um, it's kind of hard to like stay in touch with people. But um, one thing that I've been doing is we have like a film club because obviously I'm in film college, no college, to study film. Um, and so is my boyfriend and his class does like a film club. Um, so I've been going to their film club and it's really, really nice. The first time we did like a drinking game. So that was even more fun because we had a few drinks as well. I've been drinking like a bit more than usual during all this, um, which I think a lot of people have. But it's fine as long as you feel in control about it. Um, it's fine. And then something else that I've started that is like really getting me through it is uh, yoga in the mornings and in the evenings. Um, I've only been doing it the last few days, but it's actually like kind of life changing. Whew. So they probably don't look cute from the background, me, but. There, there to stay, and no one's going to see me anyway. Oh, that's such a work. Um, but yeah, yoga. I've been doing. I started doing yoga just before the lockdown. Um, me and my mum signed up for like yoga classes and everything. Um, we signed up for yoga classes, but obviously everything got cancelled. Um, amidst the whole pandemic, um, which is totally fair. Um, but I wasn't doing yoga at home for the past few weeks at all. Um, um, I started doing it the last few days. I'm using one of the Lush Solid Cleansers. This is the Sleepy Time Cleanser. Might a little bit. Um, yeah, so the past few days I've been doing yoga at home and it's honestly amazing. So I only just started doing it. In the morning as well, but I was doing nighttime yoga, and I like because my college work and everything would be on the computer, and it would be a lot of like staring at the computer, and there's no point in trying to do anything on paper. Like you can't plan your video, or you can, but like eh, it's not really a thing. Um, so I'm looking at my computer the entire time, and. I'm in my mom's so I don't have like a setup for my computer. I'm in like the tiny little box room. So my neck was just in bits and obviously I'm not going anywhere. So I was just on my bed all day staring at my computer. 
I ended up just being in bits the whole time. Um, so I started doing the lovely yoga. Is it the view finder at the mirror? <laughs> I ended up doing like my little bit of yoga in the morning, in the evenings. Um, it's helped so much in terms of like obviously my neck, um, my legs, and my back, and everything. But then this morning I felt like real emotional about it. Um, I think it's been really helpful for like centering me because I was doing like five minutes of silent breathing every day, which was also really good. Um, but this is like just a little bit more and you like set your intentions for the day and you just kind of do all your positive mantras and everything and I think it's really nice. So yeah. It's been really good, and I'm really happy that I started doing it again. Um, I can't wait to go back to my actual yoga classes because it feels so much better as a class. Um, although I didn't really get like the whole emotional side of things the last few times I went. I don't know why, because I normally am quite an emotional yogi. Um, I feel like my salt lamp I have it up there, which is like setting the whole vibe for the sleepover and um, my salt lamp has been great because i used to always see it as something of comfort and i didn't bring it with me when i moved out of my mom's so i've been kind of like missing that orange glow and then also i've been taking my cbd oil a lot which is really handy because um obviously it's like great for calming you and anxiety and things like that but I like woke up last night and um, was just really anxious and all over the place and I don't know why and I can't remember what made me like that. I just remember waking up in such a panic um, and like getting my CPU or I'm like taking some of it and then going like straight back to bed which is really weird because normally if I wake up with anxiety it rarely happens that I go to bed and then wake up with it. Normally I just kind of go to sleep um, but yeah I woke up with it and just took my CBD oil and went back to bed and it seemed to help because I fell asleep after um, yeah I don't know but I'm using it, it seems to be working no complaints <laughs> um, so yeah I'm gonna let this dry in I'm in typical maybe not typical for everyone but for me typical uh, sleepover style I'm gonna vibe off and like scroll through Instagram or something for a bit just to kind of chill out and so feel free to vibe for a minute or like check out for a minute um yeah that's just what I'm gonna be doing it gets funny and also when I have I don't know how long I've been sitting here wasting away watching TikToks but my mask feels like it's ready to come off and um, so I'm gonna go take that off in the bathroom and I will be back. I went on a whole tangent there um, and forgot to press record. <laughs> what now having now? Vigo, Bejo, Bago, I don't know what it is. Um, I got the other day, it's like 3.50 for a bar this size is quite expensive. But it's just so, so nice. I really treated myself. Um, you can't eat a lot of it in one go. So it's also going to last you a few days. So I love that. I love a lot of vegan foods. I'm kind of really used to them. Yeah, I'm gonna do my little ordinary skinny thing. Also using this as a viewfinder. Uh, oh, don't go into my eye. Yeah, I feel this like slightly off topic, but 
slightly on topic of like talking about like the girl out chats um i feel like the universe has come together and made it its mission um to stress me out to the point where i get my period and it hasn't happened yet <laughs> i haven't had it in like a year i got the burr in my arm um i actually got it i got my tattoo over it so my dad like holding it kind of and um, it's really awkward and it wasn't fully healed when I got it which is like terrible um but yeah I haven't had it since I got that in so I don't know if that's a good or a bad sign um in general I quite like the bar but I don't really like the fact that I have like my contraception inside of me um I miss the pill Strangely enough, I know a lot of people hate the pill and I didn't love it when I was on it but I kind of miss not having like hormones constantly being pumped through me and I'm not really bothered by it um, but I don't know, I just kind of would prefer to not have it but I'm also kind of happy that I don't have a menstrual cycle I don't know how healthy it is but um, I don't have my cup with me in quarantine um, I couldn't find out when I was like taking all my stuff back to my mom's so I'm gonna have to buy a new one if I get it here and I'm hoping that I don't get it and everyone's been complaining so much they're like why can't my menstrual cycle just stop until quarantine is over like this is stressful so I'm actually really happy that I'm not getting it but at the same time I don't know it's not like fully healthy is it? I don't know <laughs> I'm just going with it and maybe um, maybe I'll go back to the doctor after it's all settle down eventually and um, I probably should be talking to my doctor rather than my camera they probably know more um yeah I think I'm going to go do my yoga now um I don't know how much of a sleepover kind of vibe this was but I had fun because it was just talking about like how I'd be in the room and my mental health uh, things like that um, and nice kind of like reflecting um, time so yeah I hope that this gave you a little bit of a sleepover vibe and um, makes you feel a little bit less lonely to stay inside to stay safe and good night or good morning whatever time of day you're looking at this look after yourself